What is that? Those white particles. The player was reduced to that after death? Why isn't there a body? What happened to it? And what do these particles do? This is the secret journey of Minecraft. Look at this zombie right here. He's wearing the same clothes as this guy over here. So the obvious conclusion is that the player's body becomes a zombie after death. Or does it? When a villager becomes a zombie, the effect is immediate. But the effect on the player is not. One moment they're there, and the next they're not. Yet the same is true for the zombie, appearing from seemingly nowhere. Could it be that there is a world between worlds where the souls of man and monster alike await their transition into the next life? It certainly seems so. Pause. The player is eating rotten flesh from that zombie. If they took away the flesh from the zombie, then what's left? Oh, of course, a skeleton. Hold on. How many bones does a skeleton have? This guy right here only has 17 bones. And this guy right here only has one of those bones. That means that there are 16 more bones that are unaccounted for. Could they have been broken, even shattered in the fighting? This seems very likely, I mean. So, what do these broken bones do? They go back to ground, to the beginning of the food chain. They give nutrients to the dirt, to the grass. Grass that is abundant in the Minecraft world. Grass of this form is the only kind that grows without bone meal. So the option of it being harvested for seeds is off the table. Sheep eating it, however, is not. There's no defecation in Minecraft, so all the material received from the grass will be used for the sheep's wool coat. It could be minutes, days, months, or years that pass before a player comes along to relieve the sheep of its coat. Luckily, it lives on a farm. Now in the form of wool, you can be used to create art, furnish a house, be sold for a quick buck, or made into a soft, warm, and cozy bed that borrows mysterious powers to resummon players after death. Or you can use it to find rare metals in hell. Now, being blown up is probably an unpleasant experience. Blown to bits, the only thing that could be worse would be getting consumed by an endless ocean of lava. But that wouldn't happen, right? Now, instead of spending the rest of existence sitting in a cavern under an ocean of fire, you've become part of that ocean of fire, where you will be spending the rest of existence. Unless something special happens. A gasp begins its descent towards the pool of lava. It's coming closer and closer. The lava begins to shift around you like a whirlpool. It's impossible to escape. And then you start getting higher. The gas cries and some of the lava around you is transformed into a ball while you begin to cool down and move up towards the eyes of the gas. The gas cries out and lets loose a fireball towards a player covered in netherite armor. The player deflects the ball back and it hits the gas square between its eyes. You begin falling. You land in the player's inventory. Around you are three more gas tiers, half a stack of glass, and a little obsidian. The player continues its way through the nether, when they finally reach a portal that leads them into a derelict stone building. The player jumps and suddenly, you are in a void. The player places down a crafting table and forms you into a powerful crystal. He places you and you feel your power drain into the dark pillars surrounding you until finally, with the roar of the ender dragon, you explode. You float up and away from the island, seeing the player kill the dragon you summon. You begin to see a city in the distance. The player has already made it there, killing box monsters that send them floating into the air. Soon, however, all you see is the faint yellow of end islands beneath you, and the eternal darkness begins to swallow you. It's not long until you're surrounded by darkness, but around you, you begin to see lights. More and more appear, and soon you find yourself among the darkness, but also among the millions of small lights in the backdrop. By yourself, you are nothing special, invisible to the player's eye. But together with the rest of those who had gone before, you make up an intricate design, and there you watch for eternity, watching the others make their way back too. Just as one block on its own is not amazing, no single one of us is great on our own. 
but also just as many blacks can create something amazing, all of us together can create something greater than ourselves.